So you can see here, this crop was done 1st of February, about six weeks ago. You can look across it, you can see see the um, how even consistent it is. This is a second application. Just looking at the machine, so we're dragging four inch Oriflex hose here today, not five inch. Um, the machine, of course, will work at very high flow rates, uh, but what we've proved with this, another major advance we've made technically is right down 90 cubic meters. Feeding with four inch hose, we're still getting perfect distribution right across the whole width of the machine. So just looking at the machine, you can see each side's independently controlled. Later in the year, we're going to make this automatic, so we are. Um, these guys, and they've done about 20,000 cubic meters of spreading with this uh, this season. The Honeyford guys, there's probably nobody in Northern Ireland that does any more spreading than them. Yeah, very good customers of ours, and uh, we wanted them to give it a real good test. But very windy here today. You can see the, the slurry even. Uh, it's blowing quite a lot out of the drop pipes, but you see the total distribution, and as I said, the crop from the first application six weeks ago, the crop is the biggest indicator of even distribution. If that was not, if there was bits missed or not uh, over applied or under applied, you would see that in the growing crop. You can see here, uh, this, this crop is absolutely fantastic. The machine uh, has 50-50 shut off, so you can see in the center with two gate valves, we can, we can close off one side or the other. We are going to bring and develop on this at the moment section control where we can close off different sections um, automatically. That's still in development process. But from the feedback we're getting to the guys, shutting 50-50 off is working very effectively. The macerators, um, these macerators were specially designed. The overall body, they look the same as all the other macerators we use on the product. Um, but on the other products and the other sizes of dribble bars, but these were specially, uh, the, basically the internals them is completely different. And one of the challenges we wanted to get was that distribution. Because as I said, it's easy to get distribution at high flow rates because the machine's getting a lot of slurry and it's easy to put it, put it out. To, but when you come down low flow rates, which are probably about 100 cube here, and we wanted to demonstrate here today that the machine works very well at low flow rates. Um, which is not normal on a 24 meter machine. The our macerators are ventilated, so what we do is every rotation we put air in. It's like if you turn a bottle upside down, um, it goes glug, glug, glug. And how we get that distribution is, is we force air in with the slurry, and that um, basically gives you a very precision uh, application across all of the pipes. So none of them are actually uh, under pressure, they're all free flowing, and we also control. The, the outlets of each pipe individually is controlled by the amount of slurry that we control the slurry that's leaving the macerator and that is um, what you see here today. Just behind the, the tractor here, the guys have closed off the two pipes in the dribble bar or in the tram lines on the dribble bar because um, there's no, no requirement whatsoever to put the slurry uh, onto the bar soil where there's no crop. So it's saving, saving uh, the slurry use and also it's a nicer, tighter, cleaner job. You can see the tail piece of the machine. It uh, is basically carried across from the other machines. Five and a half inch pipework, right up through five and a half inch flow meter, um, and that's standard now in all our uh, premium plus dribble bars. Our slurry cat coupling on the Orflex hose here today. It's the renowned patented coupling. Uh, we have it on the market now, uh, coming up probably um, in about ten years. Swivels under pressure. So this, this swivels here where it's connected to the machine, it also swivels on the end of the swivel cone, so basically eliminates a uh, uh, twist of the Orflex hose. We are dragging rubber hose here today, not polyurethane, and um, this is, proves again, um, quite stony land we're on here, but it proves the quality of the Orflex hose. It's been on the market about 30 years, it's the number one uh, umbilical hose designed for this job and uh, yeah that's why we've stuck with it. Um, feeding this dribble bar is a Dota HD35 and uh, uh, it's pretty common everybody's pretty familiar with HD35. We do up to 350 cubic meters of flow rate and yeah more than suitable enough for feeding a 24 meter machine.